um, Israeli um, intellectuals. So what, yeah, what kind of support have you received after the attack? Before the attack, many times, I, I must maybe say that uh, I was in Israel and Palestine just one month ago, and uh, I was part of a Palestinian uh, literary festival, and I visited Hebron and Ramallah, and I was also last year. And I can assure you that every time I go to Israel, I meet more and more uh, Israeli activists that says to me the situation now is horrifying, we can't continue with this, that participates and try to find ways that they also solidarity can work to find a solution to all the problems. <coughs> and uh, I guess this is growing day for day, because more and more people understand this, this what we have now is an unbearable situation that has to take an end. Uh, I discussed with all my Jewish friends in Europe, that are very worried what is happening. And uh, I can tell you, I would say maybe a little, I would say it's funny because nothing is funny about this. But when I was, had been taken to Israel, I was put in front of, a, I don't know whether he was a policeman or whether he was a judge, I don't know, because they don't have any names. And I had this man from the foreign department, ministry on my side, and that man, said to me, I asked him, what am I charged of? And he said, you are charged of entering Israel illegally. I said, this is absolutely absurd. How on earth can I be charged with this? You are brought here, and I would not want to come. And then he didn't want to discuss more. And I said, but please, I want to discuss with you. And then he said, he started to talk about something else. He said, I know who you are, and I read your books, and I like your books. Oh, that's nice. He said, Okay, but maybe you shall talk about my books then, if you don't want to talk about the charge. No, I don't want to do that. But maybe I sometimes go to Europe. And then I said, okay, I will give you my telephone number in Sweden. So next time you go to Sweden, if you let me out, if you don't let me into prison, let's talk about what is happening here. And he looked at me, do you mean that? Yes, I mean it. And then I wrote down my telephone number and gave it to him. And after that, I was sent away to be deported. But I think I tried to die to talk with you because I believe in the rational mind. There must be a solution. And of course, the Jewish people has to be a very important part of that solution. I tried to listen, I tried to talk to you.